All right, what's on the bench today? It is a Water Master made by Orbit. Six station, model number 57006. And why is it on the bench? Well, I'm gonna throw it away, but I thought before I threw it away, let's do a teardown of it. Um, I had a new backyard put in from leveling the entire backyard, landscaping, lighting, and this is the irrigation. I now have a fancy irrigation one that you control with your iPhone and yeah, the whole nine yards. Anyway, so this the way this one worked was you opened it up, uh, you would have six different uh, zones, so it can control six different valves. And then with these little slidey things here, you could set how long you want each zone to stay on. And then there was a, a thing here where you could set the times and dates and watering schedules. You could have schedule A and schedule B, turn it off, turn it on. And uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, and I marked down my six zones um, and there was battery backup and the batteries leaked all over the thing. Uh, and then it has the way to connect these things is uh, I have the AC power going in right now, but these are little push things. You put the wire in, you push it in, it uh, grabs it. So yeah, let's open this thing up and uh, and uh, see it do its thing. So we'll go around one more time. Woo, woo. Yeah, and you could say clear, manual. I don't know. You could set. Uh, set cycle times. Yeah, you could do all kinds. Of, you could do all kinds of things with it. Anyway, let's uh, let's see if we can get the thing opened up and see how how they handle this and see how they handle the output uh, drive section. All right. Uh, looks as, oh, looks as though this thing just lifts right out. Uh, not much holding that in there. All right. Uh, See if they have single-sided or double-sided boards. That'll be fun. Looks like everything's single-sided, actually. Um, yeah, we got some uh, tiny little screws there. All right, everything was just soldered in place. There's no connector, so uh, we will just snip these off. All right, which one didn't I cut? That one, oh, and that one, and that one. <laughs> Power coming in, okay. Ah, look at this. That's pretty cool, look at these guys here. Wow. They weren't on the PC board, they're just little, wow, we'll get a, clo we'll get a close up of that, but those are the drives. And uh, those might be, those might be optically, I don't know. I'll have to look up that part number. This might be next. Not, this might be good to salvage. We'll see. We'll see what this is here. Let's uh, let's see what the rest of this has. I don't think the rest of this is going to be too interesting. It's just going to be um, the switches and the display. So the switches are part of part of the PCB. Some little surface mount part on this board. And I guess they all need to come out. You 
it's interesting to take apart um, things like this because they need to be pretty rugged. They're being used by commoners <laughs> and uh, they take a lot of abuse, but they have to be super cheap at the same time. So yeah, pretty interesting. All right, so this is the PC board. And it looks like it has a super, super, super thin little coating of gold on them just to keep them from, from corroding. And here are the little slidey, slidey switches. They just have a little spring contact on them to short, short these guys out. And then they're just in a diode matrix. Here's the diode. So that's pretty straightforward. These guys have got the little clicky, clicky buttons that you tape on. <laughs> uh, here's the uh, LCD controller right there. I doubt that that does everything although it might no it might that does everything yeah all the switches go to that so wow it's a chip on board pretty fancy single-sided board so you need jumpers for the other side of the board <laughs> um, get a, do a cost analysis whether that is cheaper than a double-sided board or not this is a double-sided board so that's interesting that's uh, got one rotary switch here that zooms around on that guy. Yeah, so anyway, yeah. Wow, single chip, no markings, no info there. But yeah, I think the interesting thing is going to be these guys here. So let's uh, figure out what this chip is and some of these diodes. Or looks like transistors there. Yeah, let's zoom down. Okay, these are ST, TLC 30, TLC 336A. Let's look them up. Everybody's got a complete data book in their pocket these days. Back in the days, you'd have to write away to the company and <laughs> it took forever. Okay, TLC, what was that, 336? 336. 336, data sheet. All right, they're triax, sensitive gate triax. Yeah, cool. Uh, I guess everything is AC, right? Hmm. Triac family, pass glass passivated PNPN technology. These parts are general purpose applications where high gate sensitivity is required such as phase control and static, and static, and static. I'll have to get a real data sheet. That's just the front page. Let's see here. The uh, other chip is a 7404, <laughs> a 74HC04. So they needed to invert some lines for some reason. You would have thought that um, the controller could have just done that directly, but they might have needed this just for the, just for as a drive for these guys. So it's probably what it is. It's just a buffer. It's a buffer to these guys here. Um, they didn't want to drive that directly from the microprocessor. They wanted an extra buffer here before they they got to these guys. It seems a little bit strange, but maybe back in the day you needed to do that. Let's see what these little guys here are. Thirty nine oh fours. Uh, 2N5401, uh, is, is that a FET? Maybe a couple FETs, a couple transistors. Yeah, I want to pull one of these off and uh, put it on a component tester. Let's do that. I could just heat these all up at the same time and have the thing fall out. That's what happened. All right. Well, this is adding a lot of cost to this product. They have little heat shrink, not heat shrink probably, but they have just a little bit of insulation on each wire. And each wire is super, super, it feels, it feels like steel. These are super, super tough little guys. Um, let's see if I can't 
bend them into a better state of affair. Man. Yeah, these are tough little guys. I'm not sure why they why they really need to be. But that is what it is. So that's All right, let's uh, trim up these leads so they're all the same length. Let's put it on a component tester and see if it, see if it can figure out what it is. Whoop. Get too excited. All right. Triac. There you go. 0.77 volt triac. Cool. I did a video once on Triax, so go, go look at it. Um, yeah, that's a score. I'll keep those, and I've got six Triax. Wait a minute. One, two, three, four, five, six. I've got seven Triax. Hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six plus pump. Oh, I don't know what control a pump. Maybe like a fountain? Or... I didn't know. I, I didn't know it would do an extra. Uh, Number seven. Huh. Oh, well, there you go. All right. Well, I figured out why they had to put the heat shrink and everything on them. Uh, they laid it out for a particular triac, and then they probably had availability problems, and they couldn't get the same one. So they swapped it out for these, or maybe the other ones were failing, and they needed a bigger one that they swapped out, but the pinout wasn't right. So all of these guys have the pinout swapped on them. That's why they have the legs twisted around so engineering change order anyway uh tear down of the day can you read that yeah, whatever it's a watermaster model 57006 with a bunch of triacs 